Hello everybody, this is Mr. Google. Welcome to my next video. Today I will bring you guys a new tutorial. It's going to be about how you can efficiently record in 1080p or 720p in 60 frames a second. Um, YouTube has done an update not that long ago where people can upload in 60 frames per second for the 1080p and 720p resolution. So this is going to be a tutorial about how you can use it. Um, it's way more efficient than recording with X264. To get started, the first thing you will have to have is, for one, you have to have an Intel CPU with integrated graphics. And number two is your motherboard needs to support it. And there is also a third thing, which is you have to have a second monitor or you will have to fake your computer into thinking it has a second monitor because you basically do not have to use the second monitor but in my case I am using it on the left side of my screen I'm using a very old monitor just for the sake of tutorials and other videos so let's get started the first thing you have to do is you will go to your bios I will place screenshots and a video right here so you guys can follow that go to advanced settings you go to the settings over here and you will have to enable the integrated graphics right over here once you have done that you will have to reboot you visit the intel page where you can find a, a link in the description as well for your specific cpu you download the specialized integrated graphics installer you install it you probably have to reboot after that and you come back after you have done that you can open up obs which is the program i'm using right now I will show you guys so this is basically OBS so at this point you have installed the driver for your Intel HD graphics adapter you have installed it from Intel and you enabled it in your BIOS so you fire up this if you don't know how to set up all of these settings over here you can watch my previous tutorial about how to set up uh, OBS just like I did right here so Please watch that video first and watch this one afterwards so you are able to use all of the stuff for OBS. Okay, what we have to do, I have my scene over here which is called, called Advanced Warfare and as you can see I'm using the text Mr. Google, I'm using my webcam, I'm using a border around my webcam and I'm capturing my monitor. So the next step, we go to settings, this isn't basically that much important, we go to encoding and once you have installed the integrated graphics and enabled it, you will have the option to select QuickSync over here, which is basically a lot more efficient than using X264 in the way of utilizing your CPU. You were not using the integrated graphics to start with, so why not use it for recording? And some people might argue that it's even a better performance than, for example, Shadowplay without less of decrease in your system performance so make sure you have set it to quick sync then the next step you will have to do is you don't have to check the constant bitrate because it will override it anyway so what worked best for me was using this specific bitrate 15,000 so YouTube does support 48 kilohertz right now so use the codec AAC with 48 kilohertz with a 128 bit rate and if you want to stereo I usually do that hit apply after you have done that then the next part is go to broadcast settings um, in my case I'm using file output only to record it and at the video when you are recording which is important you will have to select your video card right over here so the next thing you want to record in your full resolution in my case 1080p so make sure you have your resolution set right or you can try to manually select your monitor but this is basically easier so you will always have the right resolution uh, resolution downscale we are not going to use that if you want to you can downscale the resolution and the next part is you will have to manually put place in 60 frames a second right over here and then again hit apply the audio devices you will have to watch the full tutorial about how to set up OBS and then we are going to the advanced settings I suggest copying these settings for me they work fine and they are mostly default so 
if you are having issues performance issues you could select a different preset a little bit lower than best quality but for most of you guys best quality will probably work so make sure constant frame rate is checked and then again after you've copied these settings hit the apply button for those who are interested you can select this to use custom parameters for the quick sync encoder we are not going to use that because it works perfectly fine if you have a later generation of integrated graphics for the intel processor there are some other ways of yeah using it so leave this unchecked and then again hit apply so guys i hope this makes sense and remember please watch the video to set up obs first so for me i can now record gameplay in 1080p 60 frames a second and for me yeah it's working pretty fine if i want to record 1080p 60 fps in high settings i'm still able to do that if i'm using the x264 encoder or another recording program um, it didn't work out and for those who are using Sony Vegas to render their video before uploading them, I have a few tips as well before you upload it. Select all of your videos, uh, right click it, go to switches, disable resample to get the best quality of your video. Then you go to file, you go to render as, you select the Sony AVC MVC.mp4, pick any memory stick template you want. You basically then select it and you select customize template video format make sure you select it to AVC frame size obviously 1920 by 1080 if you're rendering at 1080p profile high entropy coding Kback frame rate select double NTSC which is basically 60 frames a second field order non-progressive scan pixel aspect ratio leave that at default and then the bitrate please select it to 15,000 YouTube downscales everything a little bit so make sure you do not use a very much lower than this go to audio AAC sample rate the same as we recorded that so 48,000 Hertz project video rendering quality best stereoscopic 3d mode etc use project settings default etc so once you have selected all of these you can give it a name right over here and you can select the save template and right after doing that you can select render your video um, I already rendered the video so I'm not going to do it again but hopefully that will help you guys um, as always I will hopefully see you next time leave a comment down below if you have any more questions and see you next time goodbye